If the project you're doing needs to be grooved, keyed, slotted, drilled, or just machined flat, the tool you need to turn to is the mill drill machine. For milling operations, the workpiece is attached to the cross slide table and fed into a revolving cutting tool. The profile of the milling cutter and the controlled movements of the machine's table govern the shape of the cut. Here's a part that was made on a Smithy mill drill machine. The finished shape is complex, but each individual cut that went into producing this part was very simple. That's really the key to milling, taking each cut one step at a time. A good machinist will look at a design and think of it as a progression of simple milling and drilling operations. This part required 22 separate cutting operations, five different mills, four drills, five different types of work holding tools, and a total of nine individual setups on the milling table. Each setup was carefully planned in advance so that as the cutting progressed, the machinist did not lose the ability to hold the part rigidly on the table. A successful milling operation requires a careful choice of cutting tools, work holding devices, and table movements. Let's start by looking at some of the cutting tools used on the mill and then move on to the work holding tools and the controls of the machine.